Hello everyone, Redhawk36 back with more Paper Mario in the last episode. I honestly don't remember. So let's just get this one on. <laughs> um, yeah. But we heard about Lava Lava Island, which is Chuck Quizmo? Lava Lava Island is not Chuck Quizmo, but uh, he's here. So Star Pieces. How many members are- oh, shoot. Um, well, there's the sister, the dad, the mom, the grandma, and the grandpa. Oh, do you include him? Ah. Uh... I'm gonna include him, because he's himself, so. <gasps> that was really drawn out. Um, okay. Well. Now that is an example of a tougher Chuck Wismo question that isn't specific enough. Yeah, no. Um, I actually don't think that was the right way anyway. Let's see what Ralph's got. Still no multi bounce. Oh, and uh, by the way, I healed and um, added some badges off screen. So, just showing you that. Yeah, I think. Well, Lava Lava Island is obviously an island, so let's check out the uh, Toad Town port to see if we can get a ride there. I don't think there's any boats, but. Let's try it out. Let's see what we've got here. Oh! I haven't gotten this panel yet? That's weird. I said that's weird. Thank you. Two star pieces in one video already. Nice. Hey, it's Colorado. What is he doing here? Hmm, who am I, you say? My dear old chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. We already know who you are. We've met at Mario. Just don't be stupid. Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in, s in the Southern D Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are an ink that are th 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 there's words on the screen that you can read. Okay. Um, let's see what we got. Um. <laughs> it jiggled. So, you can either do that three times, or you can just spin jump once. Ouch! Ouch! What are you doing? Okay, the music coming up is actually kind of cool. Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna! Ooh. I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Oh, help me. Hmm, I say. Old oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what do you say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Ugh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from all your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Yep. We gotta walk inside of a tuna. So, here you're going to want, uh, Mr. Matt. Mm, Miss Watt. Um, I'm a I actually want to take my, uh, hammer throw badge out, and you'll see in a bit. It's actually kind of cool that the tongue moves around wh where you step on a little, little touch that you could mitch. Mitch, that you can miss. Wah, who that? Drew that? <laughs> what do you think you're doing with that light? It's so basically you just gotta get next to him. You can't get a first strike on this battle, I don't believe. Hey, fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ornery as all get out. Prepare for some pain. Here we have Fuzzy Peed. 
you can't use your hammer normally, um, because he's on top of that box. So right now I'm just gonna use the jump. Not too tough, um... If I don't remember, I mean, if I don't forget, I will, uh, put his stats up on the screen. Now this is why I wanted Hammer Throw. Because he hangs from the ceiling like this, you can't use your jump. Normally you wouldn't be able to use your hammer, but with Hammer Throw... You can do that. Other items like pow blocks and whatnot, I mean, you could use your uh, Star Storm if you wanted to, but I feel like just using um, Hammer Throw would be much easier. Then he hops back up and then he just jumps down anyway. Hops up, gets on the spinal cord. It's kind of cool that we're having a fight inside of a giant tuna. I, I understand I can't select it now. Really? Again? I mean, I'm not arguing with it. I mean, it, it could be used for something better, but hey, get the fight over. Don't waste much more uh, FP. Oh, wow. Level up. I didn't even expect that. Um, I believe we did BP last, so let me just let me just count it up. So we've done HP three times, FP three times, BP goes by threes, so it would be six, nine, twelve. Yep, so HP. Aw, oh, shucks. First I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish, and then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me, the what? you know, the whale? Can you hear me? That stomachache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. <laughs> We're gonna drown in the belly of a whale. Whoosh! Yay! Either he wants us to go to the back of the throat, or he wants a root beer float. <laughs> you plum idiot! I know. I thought I was. I. You know. I thought I was. I thought I was gone for sure, and I can't read today. He was having a nap with his mouth open. That happens to a lot of people. Er, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. I don't know, I always imagine that guy with a southern accent. <clears throat> Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. They do in a game. Reference. I've got it! I, the tuna, am- I, I, I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you- Old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful, you must trust in my instincts. Mario, um, I think the star kid said a star spirit was, um, caught on the big lava lava island. We, um, should go. Big whale, give us a ride. Whee! I love Watch, he's so cute. <gasps> so, so cute, and you just want to pinch your little electric cheeks. <laughs> that didn't happen. Well, I don't really see why not. So, uh, let's head out to the shores of the island far, far away. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they have a port, like, that goes out into the sea, but, um, no boat. Like, I know people like to fish, but seriously. It's a wingle! Get your pokeballs, guys. The blubber of the whale is what we are floating. Oh. Did not expect that to come that soon. Alright. Three, two, one. Chapter 5! Hot, hot times on Lava Lava Island! It's a pretty quick ride. Alrighty then. It's pretty good at parking. 
which I should probably learn quite soon because I'm gonna get my driver's license in a little bit. Smashing! Like, don't say that I'm like racist with the accent or whatever because like the stereotypical words that they say, it, like he says them, so. Mount Lava Lava, I'm sorry that I can't see it because I can't change my viewing angle. <clears throat> Mario 64. Alright, these plants. I never really figured these out, but um, because you're spinning, you want to use your spin dash, your Z button, and you'll fl fly straight up. You can also check these plants. Some of them have hearts in it, like that. They are called heart plants. Very simple. Um, if you go behind this bush, you can get a stopwatch. Hit any tree and you're likely to get a coconut. So you can do that. Um, I just want to check. Check. Nope. Yeah! Help, I say. Help! Um, I'm going to change my... Um, thing here. I think I want to go- Oh, that's what I want to do. I'm going to go switch to bow. But I'm also going to take off the hammer throw. Oh, no, that's more than- Yeah, it is. I'm going to take off the hammer throw and the spike shield and put on zap tap. This is what I was talking about way before in Forever Forest. Gosh dang it. Oh, I think when you see this kind of plant, there's an invisible block. I'm not sure about that. Yep. Repel gel. I'm going to get this letter. Taking our time helping him out. Being attacked by a fuzzy. Watch this. Ow! Mario! You're supposed to attack the other guy, old bean! Do you have issues with me? A bit of jealousy, perhaps? <laughs> I love that. Alright, um, I'm gonna see if I can get a first strike. Ah. Yeah! All right, in the air. These, the yellow fu fuzzies, are jungle fuzzies. Um, you'll see what I mean by their attack. Hopefully, I don't kill them. Four didn't do the dam, uh, didn't do enough damage, so I'm sure five won't with bow. One, two, three, four, five. Please don't die. Awesome. You will not get hurt and they will take one damage. Usually you would have to do some A abuse to get them off of you, unlike regular fuzzies, but, um... Yeah, I just wanted to show that, because that's really helpful against these fuzzies. Phew, you saved me. Many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on. What say? Now, you can just choose to walk on by and not even... Gosh dang it, stupid coconuts and not even pay any attention, um, and he'll, like, yell at you, but, um, I don't know, I wanted to show it. Dang it! Um, there's plenty of coconuts on this island. Another one of these. These will be more useful than just two coins later on. Alright, but the last tree, I believe, the last tree that you were able to hit, holds a star piece. That's why I said most trees will have a coconut. Alright, so we got a starter piece panel somewhere in here. Yoshi- Yoshi- Jeez, I cannot talk today. Yoshi Village. So, we finally get to see some Yoshis. Paper version, of course. If you walk to the middle of the island, you get another star piece. Yes, the island within an island. Not gonna- Well, you know what, I'll say the reference. Islandception? Sorry, it was just in my mind. Um, get some crows or something here. Caw! Or actually, they're ravens, I'm sorry. Caw? Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Yep, ravens. Oracle of the stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario is fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Caw! I believe these people are actually in- er, ravens. Caw, 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 caw! Are in, uh, Yoshi's Island. The, the actual game, Yoshi's Island. Um, not sure about that, but I haven't played that game in a while. Um, and for like the third or fourth time in this LP, Leap of Faith! Love that there's no fall damage in this game. 
Um, got a makeshift toad house right here, but we're looking pretty solid because of that level up. Um, got a shop here, super shroom, honey syrup, tasty tonic, fire flower, thunder rage, and snowman doll. Snowman doll will be very helpful later, but, um, there are two solid sections to this, um, fish, no, to this, um, to this chapter, so that'll be clear once we get to the second one. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my things full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. Can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool sushi, they'd better think again. Alright, so before I end this video off, I'm going to head over to the right. For an explorer, you don't really protect yourself that much. Um, nothing in that tree. <laughs> yep. I don't know why they did this, but after a chapter of Shy Guys, they include Shy Guys. Again. I don't know what they were thinking there. Like, I, I feel like this should have been chapter 6. Um... Or that uh, chapter 4 should have been chapter 3 so that there would have been spacing with the Shy Guys. But, you know, what do I know? What the heck am I even looking at? I don't even know. Whatever. Oh, I guess that's what. Alright. Die, Colorado! Ow, get a hold of yourself! What, what you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? Eh, yeah, why not? Take cover! Yeah, well, off me, you brute! Arg! Oh, shoot! That was frightful. Have you no manners, Mario? Going on without me, you boor! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wanted to fight that thing. I was just taking cover from the bomb. Really? Wow. What a jerk. Um... I don't want that uh, stopwatch. Be if you take a look right there, you can see an item. I didn't notice this until my last playthrough. Behind this tree, you get a jam and jelly, the FP equivalent to a um, ultra shroom, which means that this also works in the classic combo that I was talking about before with um, any mushroom and any syrup, although this is jelly, it still counts. So you could have like a Jelly Ultra, which is 50 HP, 50 FP. What up, man? Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Insane. Yes, it does, old man. The secrets of an ancient civilization. Yep. Those ancient people were real smart living in a volcano bit of a sticky wicket, really? Like, seriously, they are stereotyping this guy. Let's go back to the village to look for some clues. Bombat, what the heck were you doing? Way to not blow up sooner, so- UGH! YARG! S-T-O-P! to stop Yeah, 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 go stop signs. I don't know. Um, avoid, avoid, get behind the bush, get behind the shrubbery. Uh -huh ho ho, did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? Hell yeah, so funny. Uh, different music in a town again. Shy Guys raiding? Uh, well, they are freaking out. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone has better solve their problems so we can quiz the mail, boy. Which I guess means me. It's terrible, just terrible, all the- I mean- Okay. So, the kids went into the jungle. The mighty jungle. She sleeps tonight. 
Okay. Um, yes. In the next episode, we have to find the bot. What the music slow down? Um, okay. Uh, we're going to have to find the five Yoshi kids, and hopefully we can also find Sushi along the way. Hopefully she didn't get lost. Um, so six... I was gonna say people, but they're not people. So six things we have to find in the next episode, because right now my clock is at 21. Yours is probably near that, because I didn't cut much out of this video. So, after a failed explosion... Colorado proving that he is an amateur explorer and panic in the village no not not disco the village jeez I'm making a lot of song references anyway um, yeah see you guys later